Hello, everybody. I have recently been asked a question regarding matching gain on power amps. Now let me sit down and turn down the music. So the question was. If they want to buy amps, a speaker using two amps, so how do you match the gain of two power amps? I'm still trying to figure out where I put the mic, and I probably just gonna hold it if、uh, it's not gonna make much noise. Okay, so when you buy amp a speaker using two amps. You do want to match the gain on the power amp, or using two or three amps. You do want to match the gain on the power amp. So, what is the easiest way to gain match without even using an attenuator?、Uh, sometimes you do want to have more bass or more highs, so you do want an attenuator on each one or both. But in most cases, you just want two amps by amps straight right into the speaker using a passive crossover in the speaker. So then you you need two amps that have identical gain. Now that's voltage gain. Remember this voltage gain, not not the power gain. Voltage gain. So how do you match them?、Um, the misunderstanding of the industry is、uh, input sensitivities. Personally, and let me let me get this out. Input sensitivities is one of the most useless. Again, most. Useless number you can ever use for a power amp. What does what? How do they get input sensitivities from? It's an input voltage. The 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 amount of input voltage required to get the maximum amount of output of that power amp or rated output of that power amp. So by matching input sensitivities, it's all over the place. What you need to match is the voltage gain expressed in dB term. That's the actual ratio between the output voltage of the amp and over the input voltage of the amp, and that expressed in dB. And I'll tell you the formula later. It's very easy. That re- represents the loudness of that particular amp, not the power. Capable of the amp, the power capable of the amp have nothing to do with loudness of the amp for for a given input. Okay, so now I'm going to give you some numbers to to show you the input sensitivities are quite meaningless in this application. I actually don't know what input sensitivity is good for, so somebody have to tell me that because so let's say. I have three amps. One is a 100 watts into eight ohms, and 50 watts into eight ohms, and 10 watts into eight ohms. And when I'm saying wattage, let's assume that's into eight ohms because we have to figure out the voltage、uh, from that power output. So we need to know the impedance of, sp- of the speaker, and let's use eight ohm as constant. So within that three amps, assuming they all have the same input sensitivities, one volt. For easy calculation, with with one volt input sensitivities for the one hundred watts power amp, you end up with twenty nine point three dB of voltage gain, which is twenty eight point two eight times the multi multiplier. Now, in another word, with one volt of that power amp. One volt, one volt sensitivities for that one hundred watt power amp. It will produce twenty eight point two eight volt. Let's say twenty eight volt, and equal to twenty nine point oh three dB. Let's call it twenty nine. Let's round it up. And for fifty watts into eight ohm power amp, it require one volt to produce twenty volt, and equal to twenty six point oh two dB. Let's call it twenty six dB. And for the ten watts power amp, with one volt sensitivities, it will produce eight point nine four volt output. Let's call it nine volt, and equal to nineteen point oh three dB. Let's call it nineteen dB. So, can 
can you see now that with one volt sensitivities with different power rating, it has, it will produce different gain. So your loudness between the three amps will be all different. With the 100 watts will be the loudest, 50 watts will be the medium, and 10 watts will be the quietest. I believe that is also a misconcept. That's how some people thinking the the higher power amp, higher power wattage output power amp are louder. So I'm not so sure that is that is the actual case, but that's what I think some people are have that concept of saying more power get louder louder sound. No, it will not. It's because you can get a louder louder if, if the if the actual gain of the amp is higher in dB terms, even a 10 watt with a higher gain than 100 watt, you will get a louder sound from a 10 watt with a given volume. Let's say within within the within the range of the power output, you will get a louder sound from the 10 watt when the dB is dB gain is higher. Okay. Now, how do you calculate the the um, voltage gain? Capital A, small v, and I will write down the formula in the in the description. It's capital A, small v, that's voltage gain, and the formula is the output voltage of an amp over the input voltage of an amp log times 20. That's you get the dB. So how do you get output voltage from the 100 watts output power amp into 8 ohms? Then, you know, just like V equal I R P equal V square over R. So you get a 100 watts, you times 8 ohms, and square square root, that's 28.28 volt. It's called 28 volt to, to, for easy calculation. And that's 28 volt divided by 1 log times 20 is equal to 29. 29 dB. Okay. That's as simple as that. So that number db is the one that you need to match voltage gain is the number that you need to match in order to match gain of the power amp and now go back to that 100 watt amp 50 watt amp and 10 watt amps and in order to match gain without knowing the db the actual gain of the amp but if the manufacturer give you sensitivities, which most manufacturers give you input sensitivities, because it's one of the marketing number, it doesn't matter how 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 meaningless it is. It it just bunches worth solid number solid that doesn't mean anything. But they they have brainwashed the consumer enough to think they they, they mean something. But I have really no I have really no, no idea what it means. I can use that input sensitivity to figure out the actual gain with the power and but with, with wattage output into a specific impedance. But why don't you just give me the actual gain? That actually more useful. I'm gonna reverse calculation to tell you in order to match gain with a 100 watts, 50 watts, and 10 watt amp, what input sensitivity you should look for. Now, in order to match that match the three amps with that three particular outputs. For 100 watt amps, let's say we'll match it at 26 dB, which is a 50 watt amp at one volt. Okay. So in order to find a 100 watts to match the gain of 50 watts, you need to look for something that with 1.414 volt output input for the 100 watt amps, and the point and a zero point four four seven volt for the 10 watt amps. In order to match the gain with the 50 watt amps with one volt sensitivities. So, okay, let me repeat this. In order to match gain between a 100 watts, 50 watts, and a 10 watts, and we're going to use one volt for the 50 watts, which is a middle one, to find a 100 watts amps that match gain with 50, 50 watts with one volt input sensitivities. The 100, 100 watt amp require a 1.414 volt input sensitivities. The 10 watt amps will, will require a 0 0.447 volt input sensitivities. Then you will match gain exactly at 26 dB. So, again, 
ask the manufacturer or your dealer. Well, manufacturer should know, but if the salesman, the salespeople, the manufacturer would know. But the, an actual designer, technical person, will know, or at least they should know. Um, but don't expect a dealer can tell you that those information. Don't expect a sales rep can tell you to tell you this information. Those are actually useful information that they they should know. But in my opinion, but they don't. Most of them don't. Um, some that actually have some technical in technical background will able to figure it out for you. But most that don't have technical background that just um, talking point. Most of them are doing talking point. Would know. Anyway, so that's what you need to f to match is the voltage gain, the AV in terms of dB, and that's what you need to match in order to match gain of different power amps. Then, in real life, put an attenuator in one of the higher gain power amp. Now, the higher gain power amp is not always the higher voltage output. That's another. That's another thing. You need to find out which power amp is high again, and then you can put the attenuator in it, and then you can just attenuate the attenuate the gain to match the other amp. Then you just have to figure out if you have the input sensitivities, if you have the power output, you're fine. Just use the use the formula, and you you can figure out the actual gain. And the actual gain is the easiest number to match. Did I repeat like three times or four times already? Okay, now I'm going to turn back, turn the music back up. I'm done. So, until my next topic.